Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest TCS digital interview experiences. These both interview experiences happened yesterday only, that is on 14th June 2024. Okay, and total two digital experience interview I will be sharing in this particular video. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end. Okay, and guys, from past almost 15-20 days, I am regularly making videos on TCS NQT. I made videos for important interview questions for important subjects okay as well as i am making regular videos for interview experiences of different different profiles whether it is ninja digital or prime so make sure that you are hitting the like button for this video as well as the subscribe button for this channel so that every like and every uh, subscribe gives us motivation for making more such videos so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video do hit that like button hi everyone Next level is organizing a full stack developer job hunt. There are 100 plus open positions. You can get a CTC of up to 25 lakhs. Companies like Optim Hire, MRT, TD Newton, Teachment, Ericsson and many more are hiring through this drive. This drive is completely free for all. This drive will be starting from 15th June till 17th June. So the best part here is that these companies are using innovative AI interviews to streamline the hiring process making it faster and more convenient for you. If you are interested in this drive, then you have to follow the simple steps. First is sign up to take the AI interview on next level. So if you clear that AI interview, then there will be second step that is attend an in-person interview. So once you clear this in-person interview also, then there is third step that is get an offer to kickstart your career and you can get up to 25 lakhs. Okay, so if you are a fresher who is looking for a job, or if you are an experienced currently working and want to change your career path, then this particular opportunity is very much for you. Don't miss it. And this entire hiring is completely free for all. So this particular hiring is happening across multiple cities. Bangalore, Noida, Kolkata, Hyderabad, Pune, Jaipur, Indore, Chandigarh, Surat and Lucknow. So don't miss out. Sign up now to give AI interview right now and build your career in full stack development. All the links you'll find in the description box. Okay, so first I will be discussing the first digital interview experience. So first question, as you all know, will be self-introduction. No new answers. Okay, but you can mention, as I've told you earlier also, you can mention your education background, your skills, your extracurricular activities, your internships, your projects, okay, and your achievements. All these things you can include in the self-introduction. Moving to the next question is it try accept code in Python. So it is simple that exception handling in Python you must know. But if you are like preferring Python as a language, but if you are preferring any other language also, then uh, exception handling in that particular language you must know. So this is a block of code that is uh, uh, that is used in Python for exception handling. So try uh, wherein we try uh, we write the code which can throw the error, and then we will be writing the catch block that is accept block, else block, and finally block. I hope this question is clear to you. Next is file handling in Python. So again, file handling, what does file handling mean? So uh, how we read a file, how we write to a file, how we like to open a file. So all these things are related to file handling in Python. So I hope this question is also clear to you. Next question is what are packages and modules in Python? So a module is a file containing Python definitions and statement. Okay. It allows you to organize your code into manageable section and reuse code across multiple programs. So this is what a module is. Now, what is a package? A package is a way of organizing related modules into a directory hierarchy. So a simple definition I hope is clear to you for both packages and modules in Python. Next question is write the query for the truncate command. So this is your query. It's very simple truncate table table name. So first of all, it is a DDL command and this is the query that is truncate table table name. Okay. So I hope this question is clear to you. Next is explain OOPS concepts in Python. So again, in, in every language, whether it, is, whether it is C++, Java or Python, OOPS concepts are very much common. So OOPS concepts are abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism. And now how do you, to have, how you have to explain these concepts to the interviewer? I have made a separate video on this. I will try to give the link in the I button or in the description box. So do watch that also. Okay, so moving ahead to the next question is how to import modules in Python. So simple import command we can use to import the modules Okay, in Python. Next question is, uh, question was to double a value for a key in dictionary, like if key value is two, then we have to double it to four. So we all know that there are dictionaries present in Python. There are key value pair. 
so if earlier we key was let's suppose orange key was let's suppose orange and uh, your value was 2 now write a code so that our keys will orange the value of that orange will become 4 okay so this is the uh, pseudo code that i have written okay you can take the screenshot for it it's very simple like we are just for uh, for every key in a dictionary we are just multiplying its value to 2 okay so i hope this particular question is also clear to you okay next question is what are apis and methods like post get put and delete so again it's a very basic question as per the interview is concerned so first of all what are apis so apis are application programming interface allows different software applications to communicate with each other okay so they are, if there are two different different services then how they will uh, communicate with each other they will be communicating with the help of apis now this get post put delete are the http methods so get is that when we want to fetch some information from the server post is that when we want to send some information to the server put is that when, when, uh, when we want to update the information on the server delete is that when we want to delete any resource or any information from the server so these are uh, basic http methods that are present okay so yeah so this was entire uh, interview experience for digital candidate and this was the first interview experience that I have covered in this video. Now moving ahead, I will be covering the second digital interview experience in this video. But before moving ahead, I would like you to know that we have recently la uh, launched TCS important interview subject notes in which we have like uh, covered different different subjects like C++, Java, Python, coding questions also, operating systems also, machine learning also. So all these PDFs we have made in which in each pdf related to each subject we have uh, we have included the commonly asked interview questions of that subject so if you have like here you will get 12 pdfs of different different subjects in every pdf let's suppose in python we have curated a list of the commonly asked interview questions in python and we have curated this list from the actual interview experiences for tcs okay actual interview questions are considered in these pdfs so if you want to buy these notes, they are at a very nominal price of Rs. 99. It will be really helpful for you for the last minute preparation and for revising your concepts. All the buy links are in the description box. So you can check them out. Okay. So now continuing to the video, let's discuss the second digital interview experience. So again, the first question is how you can access HTML element in JavaScript. So now you will ask that how by JavaScript was asked. So again, it depends that what you tell to the interviewer what you are writing in your resume so all these things matter very much so how you can access html element in javascript so there are two basic methods for uh, uh, accessing the element that is that is get element by id and next is get elements by class name so i hope this question is clear to you next question is explain project and the questions on project so i have told you that see the project is very important part of the interview okay so please prepare your project very well there can be the questions on project that why you chose this project what was your, uh, your idea behind it what what, what were the challenges you faced during the project how you overcame that what are the technologies that are, you are using in the project and the info ba basic information about those technologies so because questions can be asked from the technologies also that you have used in the project so i hope this question is clear to you next is write a pseudocode for reversal string so this is the pseudocode that i have given if you wish you can like take the screenshot for it next is find the second largest element in an array so again it's a pseudocode question that was asked from the candidate and this is the answer you can like uh, uh, screenshot it okay moving to the next question what is multi-threading and do you want do you implement in any project so what is multi-threading so multi-threading is a task of like uh, making number of processes running parallelly okay if, if we will go normally then if we have four processes so every process will run once a, a prior process is completed but in multi-threading all the processes can run parallelly to each other it will help us in improve the performance of our application so if you have implemented in any of your projects you can explain to them that how you have implemented otherwise no issues okay next is what is interface so again it's very simple so interface is present in java and interface first of all is you uh, interface is uh, what you will say it is a data type in which all the methods that are declared inside the interface are abstract methods okay and it is used to implement multiple inheritance in java 
so what is this uh, what is interface so I, have, I hope i have explained this answer to you next is explain again the all oops concepts as i have told you this question is a five star question it can be asked in 10 out of 10 interviews okay so what are oops concepts abstraction encapsulation inheritance polymorphism are the oops concepts okay do learn them in detail next question is do you know about ajax explain me about ajax so again some questions are related to javascript also in this interview because the project was based on the javascript okay so ajax is asynchronous javascript in xml it is a technique used in web development to send and receive data from a server asynchronously okay without needing to reload the entire web page so i hope this question is clear to you and guys if you are finding this video useful here useful till here do hit that like button if you have not done till now and do hit that subscribe button so that you can get the future updates also and if possible do do write that when is your interview and for which profile you are giving the interviews for in the comment section okay next is next question is in js what is the difference between get element by id and get element by class name so again those who have studied javascript it's a very basic question that can be asked from you in the interview so i hope you will be able to give the answer for it okay so next question is what is the difference between tuple and a set tell me where do you use those in real life example so tuple i have told you uh, are mutable in nature and sets are immutable in nature sorry tuples are immutable in nature and sets are mutable in nature uh, tuples are ordered collection of elements that we, that we define like this if you can see here that we define like uh, sorry where it went yeah so tuples we define like this okay and uh, set what we do set we define like this so let me just increase the font of both like this and uh, uh, sets we define like this so and sets are mutable in nature and uh, uh, tuples are immutable in nature i hope now you know what are immutable and mutable after seeing lot of inter experiences from my videos only so i hope the, these questions are clear to you so guys, this was all for the second digital interview experience. Do hit the like button as well as subscribe for this channel because every like and subscribe motivates us to make more such videos. And guys, do take part in next level's full stack developer job hunt. It's absolutely free. You can get a CTC of up to 25 lakhs. All the links on how to take part in it are present in the description box.